Hello everybody, hello grade two. Today I'm going to introduce chapter four, kinds of habitats. We will start with lesson one, forests. So lesson one will be about forests. We will explain two vocabulary words. The first vocabulary word will be woodland forest. The second vocabulary word will be tropical rainforest. So we will talk about two kinds of habitats, woodland forest, tropical rainforest. I'm going to start with woodland forest. What is a woodland forest? It's a habitat where it gets enough sunlight and enough rain. So a woodland forest is a habitat where living things live and a habitat that gets enough sunlight and enough rain. I will talk about the animals that live in a woodland forest. Woodchuck, woodchuck is one of the animals that live in a woodland forest. Raccoon is another animal that live in a woodland forest. Deer is another animal that live in a woodland forest. Finally, fox is a woodland forest. These animals, they find their needs in a woodland forest and they can live in a woodland forest because they can satisfy all their needs there in such a habitat. So, a woodland forest is a forest that gets enough rain and enough sunlight. And many animals, like the list of animals I showed you, they live in a woodland forest. Now I will talk about how do these animals, for example, survive in a woodland forest. How would these animals or the woodland animals survive in a rain in a woodland forest? Birds. Birds, how do they adapt? How do they live in a woodland forest? They eat fish, nuts, and berries through spring, summer, and fall season. So how do animals adapt or live or survive in a woodland forest? Such an example is the bear. The bear eats berries, nuts, and fish, and they live in caves and hollow logs. They sleep in caves and hollow logs. This is an example of the woodland animals that adapt or survive in a woodland forest. Another example is the woodpecker. Woodpecker uses its sharp peak to tap trees and get insects and eat insects. So another example would be the woodpecker. This is a woodpecker. It has sharp beak. It taps trees to get insects. This is the way how it adapts to satisfy its needs. Deer is another animal. The color of the deer and the spots in the deer help the animals to survive and hide in, a ray in the woodland forest. So another example is the, what? the deer. The color of the deer and the spots in the deer help the deer to hide and stay safe. And as we explained before, what do we call this? Camouflage. Camouflage is that the animal color help it to stay safe in such a habitat. Now, we will review what we have explained in this first part. So a woodland forest is the habitat that gets enough rain and enough sunlight. It, uh, lots of animals, like the animals I showed you, like the raccoon, the fox, the deer, live in such a habitat. Habitats survive and adapt in such a uh, 
uh, in a, such an environment by using their skin color and by using their body parts uh, to eat and look for food. Now we will explain the other part of the lesson, which is a tropical rainforest. What is a tropical rainforest? A tropical rainforest, it's a habitat that receives rain almost every day. So, a tropical rainforest is the habitat that receives rain almost every day. It, in such a habitat, trees grow very tall and the tops of the trees block the sunlight. So, this habitat receives rains and sunlight receives rain almost every day and the tree tops block the sunlight. Also besides, the trees grow very uh, close to each other and because they are very tall, they block the sunlight. Now, Animals that live in a tropical uh, rainforest are like parrot. Parrot is an example. Wild birds is another example. Also insects and jaguar. Jaguar is another example of animals that live in a tropical rainforest. So a tropical rainforest is the habitat that receives rain almost every day. Um, plants grow very close to each other. The top uh, of the trees block the sunlight and the animals like uh, jaguar, um, uh, tiger, uh, wild birds and parrots and insects live in such an environment. What about the plants that live in a um, tropical rainforest? As I told you, plants grow very close to each other such as orchids and mosses. So orchids and mosses, they grow in such a habitat. They grow in a tropical rain forest. Now, I will make a review about the tropical rain forest. The tropical rain forest is the habitat or is the forest that gets enough rain. Because the trees grow high, they block the sunlight. Animals like parrots, jaguar, tiger, and wild birds, birds, they live in such a forest. Orchids and mosses are examples of plants that live in such a habitat. So in this lesson, we cover two vocabulary words that summarize the whole lesson. Woodland rainforest and tropical rainforest. A woodland rainforest it receives sunlight and enough sunlight and rain. Tropical rainforest, it receives rain almost every day. Okay, so let's have a review about the vocabulary words again. What is the habitat where it rains almost every day? It's a tropical rain forest. What's a habitat that gets enough uh, sunlight, enough sunlight and rain? It's a woodland forest. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure please to read the questions that you will find on the website as I have sent you before and good luck. I'm sure that you will be an excellent student inshallah on the coming week. Enjoy your day. Thank you.